In this session we'll be creating a thick cylindrical pressure vessel using the plain strain idealization. So we first start by selecting a working directory. We then start a new part. So we can give it a name like uh, take PV something like that and we first check the correct units are used so I'll need to change that to millimeters newton seconds okay and I can also specify my material here and that'll be for example uh, low alloy steel and we can close that we will need to create our two-dimensional model one way of doing it might be to create a, a, a sketch in the XY plane and use the fill option to create a surface area but um, in this case I'll show you how we can create an extrusion and use one of the surface areas on that extrusion which is going to be on the XY plane to create my 2D model so I'm creating a solid model first of all we can orient this to view our plane and we'll create two circles um, but the quickest way of doing that is actually creating a, a quarter symmetric model so we can create two arcs and then lines connecting the ends of the arcs and if I click the middle button I can then specify the radius for these so 200 for the outside and 100 millimeters for the inside radius so I can OK that and my text thunder was 500 millimeters long so press OK and we can see that we've got a, a nice quarter symmetric thick cylinder model. In this thick cylinder model it is easy to create a 3D model as well by creating frictionless surfaces on these which will represent symmetry and our vessel was constrained at both ends so these can also be specified as frictionless effectively that they're not moving anywhere normal to the surface and we can apply a pressure on the in inside surface and that would be a um, straightforward 3D model but it will need quite a lot of 3D elements and probably be longer to solve um, so what we can do is use a, a 2D uh, plane strain idealization so we can select one of the surfaces and specify that our, as our plane strain model so if you go to applications simulate and on simulate we can go to model setup advanced plane strain we can pick our Cartesian coordinate system and the surface for our model so this has to be on the XY plane and confirm that and we can then apply our displacement boundary conditions so now these will be applied on the edges of the 2D uh, surface that we just selected so on this edge for example um, the nodes on this edge for satisfying quarter symmetry these nodes will not move in the X direction so I can release them in the Y direction so they can expand in the Y direction as we apply the pressure so press OK and you can see that these nodes are fixed normal to the asymmetric surface so we can do the same for the edge on the other side so the nodes on this edge will be constrained in the y direction so I can free them in the x so as I apply the pressure they can move 
um, in the radial direction. So press OK on that one as well. And the next bit is to apply pressure. So I click on pressure and select this edge. And I just want to apply 100 megapascal internal pressure. So the next thing is uh, start our analysis. But the default mesh is usually very coarse. So I can go and apply a mesh control on this surface and just go for let's say um, 10 millimeters element edge size. We can check to see if that is satisfactory. Create. That's creating a fairly fine 2D mesh. So about 115 triangles and 339 quads. So we can close that and close and save the mesh and we can um, start the solution. Go back to home, analysis and studies, file new static and we'll need to change that to multipass um, maximum P order 6 is fine and convergence rate percentage convergence we can change that to 5 and press OK and we are ready to start and yes to start this with interactive diagnostics so this is running and it will finish in a few seconds You can see that it has just done three passes and completed the analysis. So we can close that and click on this toolbar button to review results. So we can just see the von Mises stress first of all. And uh, remember that this is a 2D representation. So it's effectively a, a surface area that we've got the results on. Um, so my maximum von Mises stress is 231 megapascals. I can edit these and look at my deformed shape with element edges and also animate this. So I can see that well, it's moving in the right direction. I can change the animation speed, um, make it go very slow or very fast, depending on what I'm trying to simulate. These controls might be handy. So uh, we can stop that and go to home and edit um, so we can remove animation. And in terms of quantity, we can also plot. Uh, displacements and these will be in terms of millimeters as recorded here. So my maximum displacement on the inside surface is about 90 micrometers. So it's a fraction of a millimeter. But it still has a fairly high uh, maximum stress on the inside surface. We can also check say stresses in terms of maximum principle and that will correspond to the hoop stress and minimum principle that's corresponding to effectively the radial stress so on the inside surface that should be 100 minus 100 so that's correct and on the outside it should be zero and that's correct as well and the mid principle will be the stresses in the z direction which is normal to the uh, surface that means the stresses are in the thickness direction here that is because uh, the cylinder is constrained so it can't expand and therefore um, it can't expand in the actual direction or contract in the actual direction. So as it's trying to expand radially, it's constrained in the actual direction and that's creating a, a tensile 
uh, stress in this cylinder. And that is roughly the same on all the surface, about 19 megapascals. So that concludes our uh, tech pressure vessel uh, idealization using 2D plane strain assumptions.